So today's video is a part of Introduction to Beading series. If you haven't watched part 1, uh, here it is at the eye icon. In part 1 I was talking about the different types and sizes of seed beads and the manufacturers and it's a good idea to watch it. And now in this part I will talk about the different type of beads that are most commonly used. First I will start with the two hole beads. So the first beads I'm going to talk about here are the twin beads and the super dual beads. They're really close to each other. They are both produced in Czech Republic. The twin beads are produced by the Preciosa brand that I was talking about in my previous video. Okay, so I will tell you the difference. The twin beads and the super dual beads are really close to each other. They are both set to be 2.5 by 5 millimeters but there is a small difference between them. You see these twin beads, they are more like rice shaped beads and the super dew beads have this pointy edge here. You see from this side when you look at the profile and with them the good thing is that when you stack them together here is a good place to put a seed bead or another super dew bead and they stack beautifully next to each other. In some works and in some patterns you could use them interchangeably. I'm doing this in some of my work but sometimes you need especially using only super duos or only twin beads depending on your work so pay attention to this and I have a whole playlist with twin beads and super duos that you could see here at the eye icon. Then the next beads that I'm going to show you are those diamond duo beads. Okay, you see, with them, you see how different they are. Super duos are told sometimes to be diamond shaped. And uh, this is the case here. But they are equal from both sides. You see, here they have this pointy edge from this side and this pointy edge from this side. Twin beads are rounded, as I mentioned, rice shape. And with the diamond dues, you see from one side they are flat and from the other side they are pointy. And they are more diamond shaped, if you could say this. And um, they are 5 by 8 millimeters. They are considerably larger than the twin and the super dual beads. Okay, there are some patterns that will work with both with super dew and with diamond beads, but with the diamond beads the whole thing will be bigger. Okay, so this is for the diamond beads. Then it comes the next type of bead, which is tila. The tila beads are in this rectangular shape. These in fact are half tila beads and I don't have... Uh, quarter tila and only tila but I'll show you pictures of them okay this is how a whole tila looks or only called tila this is five by five millimeters and the half tila is this size which is 2.5 by five millimeters okay and the quarter tila are half of this tila if you could imagine it they are good for bezeling, they are good for bracelet and different uh, other designs. Okay, uh, and now the last one, which is the most interesting one probably, is this dagger bead that is good for necklaces. But also I have earring tutorial with this bead and they are sent to me by my friends from beading school by Erica Sandor. And you could see the tutorial down there and the link to their collection, their winter collection and those beads are also from this collection if you want to check it out. Now guys the next thing I'm going to show you are the crystals. Okay guys so now I continue with the crystals. First I will start with this row which are the bicons. And here I have an example for, for beautiful 3mm bicons. 
They are also from Beading School by Erica Sandor's collection that I'm linking here down there. And these are the three millimeters. Then the next size, guys, are the four millimeter bicons. Okay. And why they are called bicons? Because they are like two conuses that are touching each other and they are good for so many projects and so many patterns. And you could see them in my channel a lot. And the next size are six millimeter bicons. This is the size. Then it comes the eight, but here I don't have eight, but I have directly 10, 10 millimeter. Okay, you see how cool it looks. So these are the bicons, they are gorgeous as you may see. The next type of commonly used crystals are the so-called rondelles. Okay, I will pick up different sizes of rondelles. And the sizes that I have here are 3 by 4, 4 by 6, or 4 by 5. There is another variation which is 4 by 5. Then it comes the 8 by 6 millimeters and then 10 by 8 millimeters rondelles. They are extremely beautiful faceted crystals that are oval. And there is also another variation of faceted crystal which are the round faceted crystals. I will show them in a while. These are the round faceted crystals. These are 6 millimeters and 8 millimeters and there are also a smaller 3, 4 millimeters and 10 millimeters. Of course I'm not showing them here but I'm using them in a lot of my tutorials. Okay then in my next step I'm going to show you Chaton, Rivoli and Cabochon. See you in a while. Okay guys, so these are the crystal I was talking about. They don't have holes on them. This is the common thing between them. They are called Cabochon, Rivoli and Chaton. This is also a Rivoli by the way. So what could I say about them? They are extremely beautiful crystals. You see these are the Rivoli that are all the same from the front and from the back as you may see and how high quality they are and uh, this is the 14 Rivoli size and the 18 Rivoli size 18 millimeters I mean and there are smaller sizes as well and uh, just to tell you what is the difference between this Rivoli or Rivoli I don't know where the stress is they look really the same really close to each other but uh, this is a chaton and this is eight millimeter chaton that is flat at the top and pointy at the back and all the chatons are flat at the top although they are faceted almost the same way as the rivoli the difference is this pointy back and this flat top and this is another beautiful color of chaton as you may see okay they are extremely beautiful and uh, the next ones are the cabochons that could be in a round in an oval and in uh, this round corner shape and maybe you wonder how you work with this crystal since they don't have holes there is a technique called bezeling here is an example of this technique and i'll give a link to this tutorial you just make seed beads casing around them and close it from this side and from this side with the peyote stitch. If you're not familiar, I have tutorial and uh, for beginners of bezeling, as I mentioned. And these here are beautiful fire polished crystals that are also amazing to use. And another variation of crystals I've been meaning to show you are these teardrop crystals. See how beautiful they stay on an earring. And there are two types of them. Those where the hole is 
from this side you see going like this and there is the other type where the hole goes through the whole bead just like this and in my tutorials I'm showing how to attach both variations see here you have some beads uh, like teardrops and these ones and these ones and these ones and of course you could use a regular bead as well as a teardrop or a rondelle or a faceted crystal and whatever you like okay so now i will continue with the pearls and the bugle beads okay guys and here is a sample of the pearls i'm using they are three millimeters four millimeters six millimeters eight millimeters and there is also a 10 millimeter pearl they all look very beautiful and this is a bead that i use in a lot of my tutorials these are metal beads with a lot of holes of course one main hole and they are really light and really beautiful i use them in a lot of projects so these are the most common pearl sizes 3 4 6 8 and 10 and usually there are not a lot of five millimeters pearls produced there okay and now i want to show you two ways of how i'm storing my pearls this is one way i'm using this plastic divider i ordered from aliexpress and the, these are from the diamond painting boxes i like them so much i also ordered them from aliexpress okay and now what's left is to show you the bugle beads Okay, and last but not the less important beads are the bugle beads. I have a whole playlist with those beautiful tubular beads. Okay, I'll show you them on my needle. Okay, this is the 7mm size and usually the Preciosa brand makes 7mm and the other brands have 6mm. And here I will show you the 2 millimeter size. Okay, here it is. And don't forget to check my playlist with the bugle beads. You will see the DI icon and down there in description. Okay, guys, so that was all from me. If you like this series, please give me a thumbs up write something in the comments to add to this content if you know some different type of beads that i didn't mention i know there are these kidney shaped beads and so many other variations so if you want to add something to this tutorial please write in the comments and if you are a beginner you are invited to ask any questions about those beads that i'm showing here thank you so much for watching if you're new here, consider subscribing because we will continue this series with the different brands and types of threads with their pluses and their minuses and when to use them and when not. Thank you for your support and being here. Bye bye from me.